All right, let's watch a movie. Oh, come on. Back button. Come on. Thing keeps popping up. It's not going to let me watch anything. I guess I better call Dan the fire stick man so he can help me fix this problem. everyone and welcome back to DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man and on today's video I am going to show you how to fix a common problem that happens with the Amazon Fire Stick and Fire TV devices. If you're watching this video it's because you got the infamous pop-up that reads critical low storage your storage is out of internal storage space downloads are blocked and performance may be severely affected while storage remains low now your pop-up may say critical low storage and tell you just to go to your storage space and delete some applications but this particular pop-up is one when you ignore the problem and it gets that bad that it keeps popping up every few seconds the same as you saw on that little skit that I did in the beginning of this video it will get that bad that it pops up every second and maneuvering through the home screen to try to solve the problem at that point is going to get pretty bad. Now, unfortunately, there's only one way to fix this problem. But before I share that information, I got to let you guys know that on this video, I'm simply going to give you as much information as I can to try to restore the stuff that you're going to lose while fixing this problem. Now, you can ask yourself, Dan, what is going on here? I haven't downloaded anything new, I haven't installed anything new, I even went as far as uninstalling all applications that I need to use, but still I get this pop-up. What are you talking about I'm going to lose information? Well, you did nothing wrong here. You're not the cause of this problem, neither is your dog while you're at work, and neither is your kid hitting those buttons on the remote. No, the problem here is those automatic updates that Amazon out to every single Fire Stick and Fire TV device. Now don't get me wrong. I'm not saying the updates are bad, they're actually good. They're meant to keep your devices running smoothly. The problem falls on when the update's in progress and there's a slightest interruption on your internet speed, on your Wi-Fi connection going to your Fire Stick. When that happens, when the update's in progress, it's gonna glitch out the Fire Stick and it's gonna repeatedly, continuously do the same update over and over and over and over again on your fire stick until it depletes your entire storage space now when the when the update comes through originally it doesn't hardly take any storage space at all but when that process is repeated over time and days and weeks and sometimes even months it's going to deplete anything and no matter what you do you can't figure out what's eating up all your space that's what's doing it now you can ask, Dan, I'm, I'm here, I'm watching this video, fix this problem already. You talk too much. Well, the only reason I talk too much, guys, again, because you're going to lose some information. Because the only way to fix this problem, are you guys ready for this? You need to do a factory reset on your Fire Stick. That is the no! only solution. And you're like, oh my god, why? I'm going to lose everything on the Fire Stick? Yes and no. And this is why I want to give you extra information before I show you how to do the factory reset. When you do the factory reset, there are pros and cons. And I'm going to start off with the pros. The pros is if your Fire Stick has been running slow, you haven't cleaned it up in a while, by doing this, it's going to wipe out the entire Fire Stick and it's going to work like it just did the first time you plugged it into your television. Out of the box. It's going to run super fast and flawlessly. That is a pro, especially if you don't clean your Fire Stick and you had it for a while and you've just gone through a lot of applications. Okay, This is a good thing. The, the cons are that you're going to lose all your information, like your like your apps, and you have to re-log into everything. You may also lose some favorites in progress to your TV shows, depending on what you're using to watch those shows. Let me briefly explain. If you're paying for Netflix and Hulu and Disney Plus and any paid subscription, you will have to re-log into this account, but your progress will remain. You won't lose your favorites and you won't lose the progress of your shows because that information is saved on Netflix and Hulu and Disney Plus and whoever servers. So just by logging in, you regain all that information. Okay, it doesn't matter what application, if it's a paid one or a free one that the Amazon store supplies, you kill you still remain with all that information because again it's saved on their servers, the majority of them anyway. For those of you that have APKs, 
like cinema, TTV, or anything else out there that are used for movies and TV shows, that information is going to be gone. But I do have a tip for you to keep that. There is a website, a free website, emphasize on free, that you can go to. It's called Track TV. You can set up a free account. And then what you do is once you set up the account, you log in that account to your APK, like Cinema TTV or whatever else you're using. Once you log in, any favorites or TV shows that you already have on there and the progress of those shows will be saved on the Track TV account automatically. It will sync. At that point, when you do a factory reset or if in the future you're just deleting the application and reinstalling a new version, then you can re-sign into your track tv account and all that information will be synced back into those apks and it's like you never deleted it in the first place so it's a great resource for you guys to have if you want to keep your favorites uh, in the progress of your tv shows on apks for those of you with ip tv and have uh, live tv services with somebody you are going to lose all your favorites on this fix okay there's no way of saving it but those are just favorite channels that's easy i believe that the apks with the uh, favorite movies and the progress of your TV shows I think that's a little bit more crucial and important than just adding channels all over again to your favorites so it shouldn't be a big deal for you guys to do that now here's a con as well a pro and a con for those of you with paid applications when you do a, a factory reset obviously you're gonna set up your Wi-Fi again in the beginning quick tip you need to set up to the 5g always on your fire TV devices always in fire sticks 5G. If you have two channels, if you have 2.4 and 5G, connect to the 5G. If you only have one channel, connect to that channel and it should connect to your 5G automatically. Once you do that, it's going to ask you to re-register your Fire Stick to your Amazon account. So you just put your email address and password for your Amazon account. It'll re-register the Fire Stick. It'll open it up and then it'll prompts will come up on how to set up the remote control. Like this one is popping up in the background. And it's also going to ask you do you want to restore your fire stick or you want to skip the process I recommend restoring if you have multiple fire stick it'll give you a list of your fire stick whether you have a list or you have one always pick the top one that's the most recent one so pick that one all it's gonna do is gonna save you one step it'll keep a couple of settings on but the main thing is that if you have Netflix and Hulu and all those paid applications it will reinstall those applications for you however you still have to go to those applications for the first time and you have to log in again for the first time with your credentials your username and password okay once you do that the first time then you're set again you don't have to do it again but you will have to do that so it, it's not going to restore that for those of you that have APKs like cinema TTV those applications will not be restored on your fire stick even if you click restore in the beginning those are underground applications those were installed separately those will have to be reinstalled whether by you if you do it yourself or your programmer if somebody did it for you IPTV that's also a very important one if you have IPTV that application or applications will not be reinstalled automatically you will have to reinstall those so it's crucial for that for those people that are using those things that if you have an IPTV provider you need to get your username you need to get your password and you may even need to get your URL or server name for your IPTV service last thing is you also need a means to get that particular application where you were watching live TV installed back onto your fire stick so I recommend that you get in touch with them first prior to doing this letting them know what's going on and how you can get all that information right back into your fire stick so you can restore it properly now that I mentioned all those things I want to go ahead and tell you how to do a factory reset on your fire stick and it's a real simple quick step all you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and click the home button and then you're going to go to the right to that gear where it's, it's settings. Then you're going to work your way down to where it says My Fire TV. You click on that. You're going to work your way down to where it says Reset to Factory Defaults. Click on that. You're going to hit left and click on Reset. Once you click on Reset, your Fire Stick is going to turn off. It's going to turn back on. Wipe everything out. Do an update. Connect to your Wi-Fi. Re-register it. Follow the prompts and then you're going to be back in business. I hope this video has been helpful. If I left anything out, don't hesitate to leave it in the comments below. Um, if you come up with a better fix and you don't have to do a factory reset, please let me know. I, trust me, I've done this for quite a while and this is the only fix that I can find, but I'm always open to new suggestions if somebody has a better idea out there. I hope that you have found this video to be helpful. If you did, please, 
like this video, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell notification so you get notified every single time that I post a new video. Your support is greatly appreciated. You have been watching DFM TV. I am Dan the Firestick Man, your source for entertainment. Until the next video, happy streaming.